So, and then obviously the rest of them, I, um, and the other part is I didn't, I have all the videos done, I just don't have them formatted, so I gotta get them formatted and put them up there, which I'll do tonight. So therefore, when you're doing your homework tonight and you need to check an answer, you guys can obviously go to the Udemy, which you're familiar with, to check your answers. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, all we're simply doing when we're solving the systems um, of inequalities, basically we're just going to graph these, like you, you know, just how we graph them separately. So we have y is greater than or equal to 3 halves x minus 3. And then I have y is less than. Let's rewrite this in slope-intercept form. Negative 2x plus 4. Does everybody see what I did? Just rewrote it in there. All right, so now let's just, all we're simply doing is graphing these separately. Here my y-intercept is negative 3, so I go down to negative 3, 1, 2, 3, make a point. Here my slope is 3 over 2, so I go up 3 over 2. Everybody follows me how to graph a line, right? We're okay with this. Notice this is greater than or equal to, so that's going to be solid, right? Now, remember we always want to use a test point. When we're doing inequalities, we've got to use a test point. The best test point I said was use 0, 0. So I plug in 0, in for y, in for x. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. True or false? True, right? Rather than shading, I just like to put arrows. And I'll explain why I'm doing that in a second. If you already did shading, there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly fine. Um, now let's go and graph this. I go to my y-intercept positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now my slope. I rewrite it as a fraction. So it's negative 2, 1. So I go down 2 over 1. Then notice this, this is a um, less than sign, so it's dashed. Right? Now, for systems of equations, we were all cared about where they intersected, right? For systems of inequalities, we're not that concerned about it. Now, i got to use my test point, which again, I can still use 0, 0. So I have 0 is less than negative 2 times 0 plus 4. 0 is less than 4. And that, again, is true. So therefore, you shade towards your, your solution point. And what I want you guys to understand is you can see here is what we're going to have my region, where it's true for both of my inequalities. Okay. So therefore, that's what I like to shade. Because that's the only region where it's true for both of my inequalities. If you wanted to continue like saying, hey, well, that's true, and that's true, that's fine. But what I want you guys to understand, and here is the, here is the region that's only true for both of them. And that's what we're going to be concerned about, OK? Because it's true for both inequalities. And that's all you guys do. It's just more practice graphing. That's it. OK? That's all you, really, that's all you guys got to do. Does anybody have any questions on those? Or Skylar, did you have? a problem on one of those that you want